All right, so what you're going to see is a training I did before uh, that now I'm just going to be releasing out uh, in the public. Uh, this will teach you exactly how to set up your cold, your emails and your domains for cold outreach from start to finish. So if you go through this, you can go through step by step as you're actually buying your domains and setting it up. Uh, and this will show you, you know, from beginning to end how to buy your domains on Google, set them up with Smart Lead, and you know, begin your outreach. So I hope uh, you find it useful. Let's get it going. All right, how's it going? So. This is an intro video to the course. Uh, I'm just gonna go over every single thing you possibly need to know to set up a cold email system and succeed with cold email, right? So just before, before I go over the introduction to the course and what you're gonna learn here, I just wanna show you, I wanna show you the, you know, the back end of uh, my account here. So this is, this is the last campaign I ran. This was an 11 day campaign, but it really only sent out for for six days, or some days I paused it, uh, stuff like that. But as you see, I mean, sending out about 489 emails here, 125 this day, 125 that day, 350, 481, um, 417, right? And then a couple more, another 125 day. So over six days, I got back 65 replies. The vast majority of those replies and Anytime you do cold email, the majority of the replies are going to be people saying, you know, fuck off or I'm not interested. Don't email me again. But doesn't matter. What that does is it gets you closer to these to these yeses. So I had 18 positive replies over, you know, six days. So that's basically three people every single day, uh, you know, during that those six days who wanted to talk to me. Right. So just think about the same thing for your business. If every single day. You have three to five people who want to get on a call with you who, number one, they know what you're offering already because they read your email, replied, and then decided to hop on a call. So if every day you have three to five people you're talking to, how hard do you think it would really be to scale? I mean, unless you're just God awful at sales, it's damn near mathematically impossible not to close you know, at least one out of 10 of the people you're talking to because they've already expressed an interest in what you're offering, right? So think about how this would help in your business. Uh, think about what you're offering, think about what you're selling and the price points, and you'll see just how valuable cold email really is, right? So uh, just to go over the course a little bit, so obviously this is the intro, this video right here. Uh, the next part, which is the most technical part and the longest, most annoying part really is uh, setting up your domains and emails, uh, forwarding your domains, setting up uh, DMARC and domain tracking and all that good stuff to make sure your domains don't go to spam. Okay, so we're going to start off by getting a Smart Lead account. The link under this video is my affiliate link, my affiliate link to Smart Lead. So if you'd like to use that, feel free. If you wouldn't, just go to smartlead.ai.com. Uh, once you're on the website, just press sign up. And then there you go, you can start your free 14 day trial. So first things first, get your smart lead account and I will see you guys in the next video on setting up your domains or buying your domains. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to domains.google.com forward slash register. Uh, so once you're here, you're going to go to get a new domain. All right, so just some things to note while you're doing this. If you're going to be sending email at scale, you're going to want to get at least five domains so that you can create 10 email accounts. Each email account can send between 20 to 50. I like to stay at about 25 emails per day. So if you want to send more, you simply just get more domains, get more emails. All right. So for your domain name, what I'm going to do is go with something that has ERT in it. So I'm going to get uh, go with getmyert.com. Okay, so I just wanted to add this in here. So if your domain name, if your if your agency is cat agency, so your domain name is catagency.com, then your sending domains can be get cat agency, start cat agency, catagencytoday.com, etc. They're just simple variations of your domain name. Uh, you know, that these domains are going to forward back to your main domain if somebody, you know, manually copy and paste your email. So 
just just know that since obviously this training, like I said, was built for something else. So, and if you are a lead gen agency, you can buy general domains so that you always have something warmed up. So, if you want to board a new client, you don't have to have them wait this two week on you know warm up process. You can just start sending right away by just buying like agencyoutreach.com, agencyoutreachtoday.com, etc. Uh, all right, so let's get back into it. All right, so that's an exact match. Uh, I'm just going to do this with five domains just so you guys can see what I mean. So uh, get my ERT.com, get ERT today.com. ERTrelief.com There you go. ERT.com And as you guys see, like it doesn't have to be complicated, it doesn't have to be very specific. We just need to get uh, five of them in here. Um, relief.com okay, there we go so we have five now we're gonna go to our cart <clears throat> so you need to follow these instructions turn auto renew off for each domain yes apply to all and just uh, we're you know just things to be aware of it costs twelve dollars per domain and each email account costs seven dollars and twenty cents per month but your first month is free all right, so I'm gonna just do these these settings. So once again, auto renew is off. We're gonna click this, change this to business starter, and we're going to create, uh, enter in our name and domain name. So <clears throat> I'm gonna pause the video and do that. Actually, before I do, let me just also say, keep this checked and then make sure your backup email is whatever your preferred email is that you use all the time. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went through each account. Uh, these, this account is for Alyssa. Uh, all these, so just make sure you have all these settings in here. First name, last name, username, backup email, and make sure that this is to the 720 a month plan, and then just go through each one to make sure. <clears throat> so for me right now, it's gonna cost $60. Let me just go through and pay for it. Okay, so this is exactly what it should look like when it says review purchase. All, all your domains and then make sure this is all 720 a month so you're not wasting money and then just pay for it all right so now the domains are uh, in my account and in the next video we'll go over uh, setting up your domain the correct way and what you need to do all right see you guys in the next video all right so now that we have set up our domain or bought our domain now we're going to set it up for cold outreach so what you're going to do is go to your domain name and you're going to click manage so let's go here all right so the first thing you're going to, going to do is forward your domain name to your affiliate link for your for the website so your personal website where Pete where businesses can go to get more information and uh, get started with their estimation so we're going to go to website forward domain for now, I'm just going to use this website. We're going to press forward. So that's step number one that we have to do. All right. So now that, and this will take a little bit of time as it says. So now the next thing we're going to do is go to DNS. All right. So in DNS, you're going to add in two different records. And I know this might look confusing, but we're just going to copy and paste. So don't worry. Uh, and what to copy and paste will be below this video, right? So the first thing we're going to do is type in track. The type is going to be C name. And then let's go to what else to post here? Uh, this is going to be this part for the data slash value. And this TTL, we're just going to leave it alone. Sorry, I'm actually copying this part down here so it's going to be open.sleadtrack.com 
And same thing, track, C name, leave that alone, and then put this here. So let's go back. Now let's put that there. And we're going to press create new record. The host name is going to be underscore dmark. Sorry, I keep going to the wrong one. The record or the type is going to be txt. And then this is the value that we're going to have to copy. So let's go back txt. And then this is the value. And now we press save. Okay, so that's it for this part about setting up our domain. I will see you guys in the next video where we log into our email account for the first time. All right. Okay, so now that we've created our account, we're going to uh, go to the email that they sent us. We're going to copy this, and then we're going to log into our email. your password, whatever you want. Okay. So now that we're logged in, we're going to do a couple things. So first we're going to create a label. This is basically just going to be a filter for, it doesn't matter what you name it, you can name it anything. Um, and you'll understand later, uh, once we start warming up our emails with the email sending tool, uh, basically that adds your email to a pool of emails and that starts emailing each other and you don't want that to clog up, clog up your inbox. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is go here to the settings. We're going to go right here where it says forwarding and pop slash IMAP. We're going to press enable IMAP and save changes. All right. So the next thing we're going to want to do Let's go right here and press admin console. Okay, so we're going to make you sign in again. Okay, so now that you're in your admin console for for your domain and email account, what you're going to do is press directory, or you don't you just have to hover over it, directory, and then go to directory settings. Next, you're going to press this profile editing, and you're going to check profile picture. Otherwise, you won't be able to change your profile picture because of stupid rules by Google, but press save now. Okay, so now it's important that you do not change your profile picture from right here. What you want to do is just exit this out, refresh your email, and now we can change our profile picture from here. You have to change it from the Gmail tab, otherwise it won't show up when you're sending emails. All right, so one second. All right, sorry about that. So actually, we're just going to go from computer. I actually already have the picture right here, so I'm just going to drag it. And upload her picture. Okay, that's good enough. All right. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Okay, now our profile picture is changed. And that is it for this video. So we created this label. We went into IMAP and enable, enabled IMAP, and then we change our profile picture, all right? So the next thing we're going to do is actually connect our email account to this email sending software and start the warm-up process for the email, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, so I'm going to make this quick video on how to connect a Gmail or Google Workspace account to SmartLead. So we're just going to start off at email accounts and press add account, Gmail, off let's copy that and then go here 
All right, so go to the account. I believe it's this one. All right, so we're going to go add app. We already copied this. Let me just do it again. Paste it in here. Select. Trusted. OK, so now we can go back here. Press connect a sweet account. Go to the account. Allow. All right, there we go. Successfully connected. And then I like to change this to 35. This is 7. And add a custom tracking domain. It'll just be the same. Domain HTTP forward slash track. Uh, you should have set this up in your domain settings. Uh, so we're just going to verify that. All right, and then we're just going to press save. So I can't press save while I'm doing the video, but that's it. So, all right, I'll see you in the next video. All right, so if you've made it this far in the video, you now have your domain bought, your email set up correctly, and your account set up to smart lead and your warm up started. So as I said in the video, you need to do this. If you're going to do cold outreach at scale with, with email, you need to get at least five domains, at least 10 emails. So you're going to need to do that process 10 times to get everything set up. And then from there, uh, you know, you're really off to the races. So if you need help when it comes to building a list, I'm going to have videos on that. It might already be uh, up by the time you watch this. Uh, but yeah, give the video a like, thumbs up. I hope you found this helpful. See you guys in the next video.